YouTubers, this is Lady Grave Dancer for video three. And today I'm so proud of myself. Oh my God, I'm doing videos. I've missed y'all so much. So I decided to get some videos done while I had some time here at work. And I am going to do an oil video when I get home and possibly my bubble bar video tonight because it's been asked to me since I've shared on soap making and bath bombs on how to make my bubble bars. And I'm probably going to share how to make my zombie bubble bar because it leaves the water black without a residue on the tub so you're taking a nice white bubble bath with black water and it smell, ugh, smells so heavenly and it's just very cool to sit for me in water that's black that's actually cleaning you with, with the white bubbles and no residue on your tub so it's really cool it took us ugh, probably two years to get that recipe just right and we did and I'm probably gonna share that tonight because I need some bubble bars anyway so why not make a loaf right all right, so I am going to um, be talking today. What am I talking about today? Oh, as you know, I've made a book on um, requests so I can make sure to get them done. And when I have time, I pull it out and make videos. So on this one, the question was how to dispose of um, spell candles and other items such as poppets and candles and ashes and that sort of thing after your spell is complete. Now this topic kind, I mean this, um, this question, it kind of covers, okay, this question is kind of big. It doesn't seem like it's big, but it is because it depends on the spell that you're doing. Okay. So if you're doing, let's say a money spell or you're looking for a job or a love, then that's something that you can dispose of in your own yard. Um, you can bury the poppet in your yard. You can dispose of the ashes in your yard or keep the ashes for later workings. But if you're doing something in the line of you know your husband cheated on you and wanted to get back at the person he was cheating with that's not something you would want to put in your yard because this is something you're trying to get rid of so you can go and bury it in the cemetery which is something i like to do i don't go onto the graves and do it but the edge of the cemetery has plenty of room way far from the grave sites that you can use and it works just as good you can even bury it in the park, in the woods. You can dispose of it and just throw it into the woods. If it's just ashes and you catch a windy day, you can go dispose of that in the air and let it go. Going down the freeway even, because you're releasing it. You're getting rid of it. Uh, water. Now, if you have a running river near you that will take the candle wax that's left over or the bottle that's left over, um, whatever herbs are left over that you don't want to keep, releasing it in water and letting the water take it is a great way to actually um, add energy to the mat to the spell that you're doing because water has a lot of energy and it's taking away kind of like um, carrying the prayer to where it's going you know that kind of thing somebody's walking in the office I'll be right back okay sorry about that I am at work and it's slow so I was trying to make some videos I don't remember where I was. I don't want to stop the video to back up to see where I was, but um, really, I think I was at releasing on water. That's a great way to add energy to your spell as well. But and you don't even have to just use it to let go of what people would call negative type spells. You can use it for love spells too, because using the energy of the water, it's kind of like you're just floating it away, but it's actually carrying your spell to get it going. Kind of the oh, how can you explain it? It's so hard to explain. It kind of it kind of adds that ump that you need in the spell. Water's really good with that. Same thing with air. If you're able to um, make a petition, burn it with the ashes and release it in the air. I like to use a, use going down the freeway and rolling down my window and releasing it out the window. Using the energy from the air also adds added energy to your spell, but it also helps you to dispose of the stuff. I don't ever throw something just in the trash. Just throw it in the trash. I I don't dispose of any of my things that way. I'm not telling you that that's wrong. It's just, it doesn't feel right to me just to do my magical working and then throw it into the garbage. It just, I don't know, it doesn't feel right to me, but I suppose if you were doing a spell to get back at someone, maybe breaking it into the garbage can is something that you can add to it. The ick that you can add to it, like broken nails and broken glass. I suppose a trash can can be used for that. Just 
bam, the glass bottle into the garbage. And just, you know, it's your magic. And that's the thing is that with your magic, you do what you feel is right. If you feel that you want to keep it, then you keep it. If you want to bury it, you bury it. You do what feels right to you. I'm just throwing some ideas out there of, way of dispose, ways of disposing things. If you don't have a river and you have a lake, you can release it there because eventually it's going to go out. Eventually the tide is going to take it out. Fire, of course, is a big one. You can burn it down if you have a fire pit and you have wax and paper and other things left over. You can burn all that in the fire pit. And then you have the ashes that you can release in the air and let it go. Or you can bury it somewhere, dispose of it the way you feel is right. Using fire is also another way of adding that energy to it. So basically, I've gone over the elements with you. You can use water, fire, buried in earth, or air. <laughs> so using that added energy, though, is, um, I think it, it's a good thing. I think it gives the, I feel that it gives the extra energy that some people may need. And I don't mind getting extra energy when I'm doing spells. So these are just a few ideas that I just want to throw out there because it's been asked multiple times. And I thought a video would be the best way to do it. How to dispose of the aftermath. I don't know what I'm going to title this video, but hopefully I can figure it out before I finish editing it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have anything you want to share or do a video response, just let me know and I'll go watch it and share it. And in the comments below, leave your opinions or what you do with um, your leftover workings because people do read the comments and sharing is a way that our community grows and helps each other because we are all students we're all students and we're all learning we're all students and we're all teachers um i know i'm going to be forever learning from everybody so thank you so much for watching and i will see you at the next video and as always blessed be guys bye